Alrighty guys, back on the C20. Today, we got the task putting the new shocks on. They're bad, they're bouncy. Feels like you're riding in a Cadillac. I also got a distributor rotor because I had to use a new, uh, used one when I put the new cap and rotor on. So I got a new rotor to replace the old rotor. We'll put that in. I'm hoping, hoping, which most likely not gonna happen. I have the carburetor adapter for the Edelbrock to the Quadrajet intake. According to the package tracking, it is really close to home here. So hopefully it'll come in, but I don't think it will. So for now, we'll get the truck up in the air, get the new shocks on. Real quick, I'll show you the new shocks. Oh yeah, and here's the exhaust. Three inch exhaust. I don't know what mufflers I'm gonna run yet. Jumping right in on this one, I got everything set up. The, the axle is supported. I got everything ready to go. Gonna get these old shocks out, get the new ones in. So I got both shocks off and I just wanted to show you guys this. Junk. They are blown out. Let's get back to it. We got them in. They went in pretty decent once I got a rhythm down with the big breaker bar. 
I had to use the big breaker bar on the factory bottom ones. The top ones weren't bad because they were replaced when someone did the shocks. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. Typical stuff you got to deal with when you're working on an old vehicle. But now, I'm going to take and lower her down. We'll get the MSD rotor in. See how it runs after that. I'm hoping it clears up a little bit. I know it's not going to clear up much because the carburetor on this thing is junk. I've been driving it around for a little bit, and it's just plain, outright junk. But I'm also going to snug down the pan bolts because I have a leak on this side of the pan. I think it's just a gasket. It doesn't seem to be coming from anywhere up there. No, that's dry. So I'm going to just take and take a 3 8 drive wrench and very lightly just give them each, you know, half a turn or whatever they go. Hopefully they're not too loose, but hopefully they snug up enough where it quits leaking because I really don't want to do a pan gasket and fluid. That gets to be a mess, but I'm going to snug that up and then I'll lower the truck down and we'll get that rotor put in. All right, I got the truck back on the ground. I'm gonna pop the air cleaner off, pop that cap off. I won't take any plug wires off or anything like that. Just pop the cap off to the side, swap the rotors, throw it back together, see if it changes anything. It might change very, very, very little, but it shouldn't change anything too drastically because I know this carburetor is kind of shitty for the lack of terms. So I'm gonna get that rotor swapped real quick. We'll see how it runs and go from there. All right, we got the new rotor in. Um, I think I'm gonna fire it up real quick. See how smooth it idles. It should idle okay. The carburetor is shit because the accelerator pump, the diaphragm is kind of crapping out. So when you stab it, it acts stupid, but I'm gonna start it up and let it idle and see if it idles smooth. surprised the choke didn't come on because it's pretty cold and this thing likes to have the choke on early and it likes to stay on for a long time I know the rod is out of adjustment but for the choke but I'm not really too concerned about it but it seems to be idling nice and smooth it looks like it's idling smooth so it just every once in a while before with that old rotor it'd be idling and then all of, you, all of a sudden you'd hear like a kind of like a small pop or something it would be smooth and then pop and smooth and then pop and sorry for the goofy talk but that's the only real way i can explain it to you it just kind of a little goofy but now it seems okay and i know i can't really go off of much because of that dumb exhaust leak on the wi-fi but shortly when they come in this thing will get um long tube headers and three inch exhaust i only went with the three inch exhaust for the reason that the collector is a three inch. Other than that, I really don't have a preference. Three inch, two and a half, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put some quieter mufflers on it so, it so it's nice and quiet, but then it'll flow better. It won't sound like crap. Get that, get a new carburetor on there. I'd like to put an aluminum intake on it, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that far. I think it's just gonna have the stock intake with the adapter to the newer carburetor, so 
I'm gonna get this thing put back together, then we'll go for a ride and see how the new shocks are. Yeah, for sure it made a world of difference in drivability, even on low RPM, even with the accelerator pump being bad. And the shocks feel really smooth. I mean, yeah, we're riding in a square body, but as far as they were they were before, before it was so bouncy, it was like riding on a trampoline. But yeah, the rotor definitely made a difference. So that's good. I'm gonna run home, grab some lunch, see if that spacer plate came in for the carburetor. If not, I'll wrap up the video and we'll have to do that one in the next one. All right, guys, that's a wrap. New shocks are installed, new rotors installed. Rides better, runs better. Didn't get the adapter for the new carburetor, kind of unfortunate, but that'll be in the next video. Hopefully I'll be able to put the exhaust on in the next video as well. Got headers coming for this thing. Three inch exhaust is already here. We got exhaust to do on this one, exhaust to do on the LS truck. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. So please subscribe, make sure your notifications are on so you can see more videos like this and you can see the upcoming videos. If you want to get a little bit of a, a head before you, before you see my videos, check out my Instagram. Link will be in the description to my Instagram. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Make sure your notifications are on and I'll see you in the next one.